Hi folks, Tim Allen from Suburban Tool, America's Tool Makers. We're here today to talk about the Masterview MV14M with the Minitoyo QM Data 200 mounted on it. Uh, it's a real nice little uh, digital display. The part that I really like about the Minitoyo unit is that all of your more common measurements are a single button selection. So let's say we wanted to get some information on these two circles here. Oh, well, let's stop right now and talk about crosshairs, by the way. The last video that we did, we talked about crosshairs, and we got some feedback. People are like, what are you talking about crosshairs? If you look on this screen, you've got a vertical and a horizontal black line and that little intersection right there is the crosshairs and that's what we're talking about crosshairs that's where we're taking our measurements when we put our part edge on that intersection that's where we take our measurements so as we go through this and I'm talking about putting taking a point I'm referring to that intersection and where it connects Right there, for instance, where those two lines intersect with the top of this arc, that's the point that we're going to measure. So hopefully that clarifies that for the people that uh, didn't quite understand what we are talking about crosshairs. And a lot of times, you'll have to forgive me, I've been doing this for 35 years, so you know some of these things, it's like, well, everyone should know that. And I have to kind of go back and say, wait a minute, there's people out there that haven't done this and don't know what I'm talking about. So we really appreciate your feedback. If there's a question that you have, you know, don't hesitate to give us some feedback. Send us an email, give us a call. We're always here to help. You can either ask for Tim Allen or, or Jim Curluck. We're, uh, we're here to help, folks. So let's talk about this unit. We're going to start, we're going to measure these two circles here. We have a little button here. It shows two circles with an arrow between them. And when we select that, it puts a graphic on the screen. Can you zoom in on that, Glenn, so we can show people? Each of the circles on the screen has three little circles on it. One's blinking green over here. That tells us that we need to take three points on circle A and three points on circle B. This one's blinking green, so We'll put our crosshairs up here at the top. Again, I'm putting this intersection right there on the top of the circle. When I hit load, point one turns black. Now it's moved over here on point two. That one's blinking green. So it, it kind of walks you right through your measurements here. It just simplifies it so you know, well, wait a minute, this is what I got to do next. So we got three points on circle A. Now our little green cursor has moved over to circle B. We'll pick some points on that one. Oops. Got to remember to push the button. So what do we have? We've got the Y dimension. That's the, the change. We have the Y dimension here. It's the difference from the center of this one. Center of this one on the Y axis is two and a half thousandths. The distance on the X is 249 thousandths and eight tenths. Let's call it 250 thousandths. LS is the Shortest distance, if these circles were complete here, that's the distance across those two edges. LL is the distance from this outside edge to this outside edge. And LC is the distance from the furthermost point at the top to the furthest most point at the bottom. So one button, we picked six points, we got a slew of info. That's what I really like about this unit, 
It's so easy to use. It walks you through your measurements. Uh, let's do another one. Another really nice function on here is the slot feature. Again, it highlights the points we need to select. We've got a nice fat slot here. We'll take a look at that. So it tells us we need two points on a straight edge. So pick two points here. There's point A. That one. Now, now it's moved over here and it wants us to work our way around this radius. Now we only have to take one point on the opposite face. So we'll come down here towards the middle, take our point. Now we got to work our way around the bottom radius. Okay, so it gives us our length, 631 thousandths. It gives us our width, 86 thousandths. It gives us radius one, which is one at the top is 45 thousandths and seven tenths, and the one at the bottom is 43 thousandths. And it gives us the X and Y theoretical center of our slot. So again, we pick nine points, one button, gives us a lot of information. Um, let's do an angle. That's another one that's nice on here. And you have two different kinds of angle measurements you can take with it. This is just a straight angle, you know, line A to line B. This one actually gives you not only your dimension from line A to line B, but it also gives you your angles off of a theoretical center. So if you needed to know where the center line of those two angles were, one button, bam, away you go. So... I'm going to do this one. We'll start with this point down here at the bottom. Second point, and again it highlights green on the second side, second side of the angle. We'll come over there, we'll pick those up. gives us the X and Y intersection. It gives us the inside angle, 61.163 degrees. And it gives us the outside angle, 298.433 degrees. So, you know, just like with all the others, one button, pick a few points, bam, we've got the information we need. And all of these are, are canned. If you want to, if you needed to measure an oval, um, intersection of a line in a circle, uh, intersection of two circles, a line to a circle. So a lot of people have looked at this and they said, wow, you know, it's got all those buttons. I'm really confused. But it makes it so simple because the buttons have a feature. They all have a function. And they're all graphically represented, so it really makes it simple to operate. Um, you have some other, you can switch between inch and metric if you need to. You have a choice of degrees, minutes, seconds, or decimal degrees. These are your functions to reuse geometry. If you measure one circle and you measure another one, you need to know the information. But with this, you don't use those a lot because those functions are all canned. But they've included them in case you want to do that. Uh, you have output to a printer. This will interface with a printer. It will also interface with the Minatoyo SPC system. So again, this is the Suburban Tool MV14M comparator with the Minatoyo QM Data 200 display. Uh, I'm Tim Allen from Suburban Tool. If you have any questions, 
please feel free to contact us. Uh, you can call us, you can email us, you can visit us on the web, subtool.com. Check out our other videos on our YouTube channel at suburbantool. And I'm out.